talk about Ruth. If you'll stand with me, we'll read in Ruth chapter 1. Starting verse 6. Lord, we thank you for the word. And I ask you, God, that as we this table is spread before us, we come to eat of your bread. Lord, that you would just bless it to every one of us. God, bless each and every one of us with your precious, precious word, Lord. Feel our hearts in Jesus' name. Ruth chapter 1, starting verse 6. Then she arose with her daughters-in-law that she might return from the country of Moab. For she had heard in the country of Moab how that the Lord had visited the people in giving them bread. And probably most of you know that Naomi's husband died. Her two sons and two daughters had married and the two sons died and now what's left is Naomi oh, oh, uh, Orpha I believe that's what you said and Ruth that's what's left here and she has decided to go back to her people wherefore she went forth out of the place where she was and her two daughters-in-law with her and they went on the way to return into the land of Judah and Naomi said unto her two daughters-in-law go Return each to her mother's house. The Lord deal kindly with you as ye have dealt with the dead and with me. The Lord grant you that ye may find rest, each of you, in the house of her husband. Then she kissed them, and they lifted up their voice and wept. And they said to her, Surely we will return with thee and to thy people. Now both of them said that to her. Yeah. Surely we will return with you to your people. And Naomi said, Turn again, my daughters. Why will you go with me? Are there yet any more sons in my womb that they may be your husbands? Turn again, my daughters. Go your way, for I am too old to have a husband. If I should say I have hope, if I should have a husband also tonight, and should also bear sons, would ye tarry for them till they are grown? Would ye stay for them from having husbands? Nay, my daughter. Nay, my daughters. For it grieveth me much for your sakes that the hand of the Lord has gone out against me. And they lifted up their voice and wept again. And Orpha kissed her mother-in-law. Orpha kissed her mother-in-law. But Ruth clave to her. And she said, Behold, my sister-in-law is gone, is gone back unto her people and unto her gods. Return thou after thy sister-in-law. And Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee or to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go. For where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, thy God, my God. Without diest, will I die. I want you to realize what Ruth is doing here. She's making a promise. She's making a promise. And Ruth didn't take her promises lightly. She's making a promise. This is a big deal that she said. I know we've heard this message many times on Ruth, but the Holy Ghost says we're going to hear it again tonight. Oh, 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 oh. Thy God, my people shall be my people, and thy God, my God, where thou diest, where thou diest, notice this, where thou diest, will I die. This sounds like a lifetime commitment. Yeah. We can't even seem to commit for a week. Hallelujah. Ruth's making a lifetime commitment yeah. to her mother-in-law. For thou diest, will I die, and there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if aught but death part thee and me. When she saw that she was steadfastly minded to go with her, then she left speaking in her. You may see that. Hallelujah. The one thing that I seen during 
Oklahoma, this was Naomi didn't have anything left off her roof, if I'm honest. Or Arthur. Am I saying that right? Arthur? She had nothing left to offer them. Her husband was dead. The provider. Believe me, back then it wasn't like it is today. This was before women's rights. Her sons were dead. The ones that would take care of the daughter-in-laws were dead. She had no way to take care of herself, let alone anybody else. No means, nothing could she offer her daughter-in-laws. So the only thing that she could figure out in her mind, now I'm not saying if it was right or not, but the thing she could figure out the best was for them to go back to their families. Now the thing that's bad about that is they would be going back to their gods, the false gods. But still Naomi didn't know what else to do. She says, I, there's no way for me to give you anything. You, you've got to go back to your families. Go back and, and get a life. There's someone there. You know, take them someone there. Get a life there for yourself. Start over again. Well, Arthur and Ruth both was saying, no, we want to stay with you. That's the way it started. No, we want to stay with you. And they cried and they was bitter and sore inside. Because they loved her. I believe that they truly did love her. But even though Arthur loved her, her love was not the same as Ruth's love. And you see, many times people will come to the Lord and they say they love God. And it always makes me wonder why you can have two people grow up in the same house with the same parents being taught the same truth being taught about the same God and still one will love God and follow Him and the other will do everything opposite to what they were taught. And I never could understand that. But this story helps me to understand. It's because the love in the heart is not the same. As much as our beloved she did not love her the way Ruth did. And so she decided that she would go back. Ruth didn't want to go back. I'll tell you tonight, let's not go back. Yes. Oh. If God has brought us away from things yes. that are false and sin and harmful to us, God, help us not to go back. Yes. She says, I do not want to go back, but I want to be with you. And I want to be part of your people. And I want to serve and love your God. Hallelujah. And that's the part that got Ruth the blessing right there. Hallelujah. All the other things, yes, we know she was blessed. But the my, let your God be my God. That was the thing that got her the blessing right there. Hallelujah. Because in her heart she meant that. She made a choice. And that's that's what I want to talk to you about tonight. Making a choice. Making a choice. Ruth made a choice. Arthur made a choice. But Ruth, as we know, because we we don't know what happened to Arthur. Except that she went back to her home, to her family, and most likely to the false gods. Yeah. You see, it's so important that we come out from among them. Yeah. Yeah. And be separate. Yeah. As much as people preach and say you don't have to come out, I'm telling you, you got to come yeah. out. Had a made up mind. Yeah. Oh Lord God, 
Bible's out. But what does the scripture say about it? In Hebrews, it says, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God. Isn't yeah. that what Ruth did? Yeah. She didn't know what was going to come. She didn't know where she was going. She didn't know what in the world to expect. She just knew she loved her mother-in-law. She claimed to her and she followed her. Moses chose rather to suffer affliction with the children of God than to enjoy what? Than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. You don't have to convince me. I realize there must be fun in sin. I don't know. I pray to God. I never really know. But I'm sure there's some good times. There's stuff out there to make you feel good. It'll lift you up. Then you got to take something to bring you down. But it makes you feel good for a while. Moses could have stayed there, but he chose rather to yeah. suffer the afflictions so that he could be with God's people. Yeah. And we know the choice that we know what Moses went through, do we not? Yeah. Hallelujah, but you know what? There was a time when Moses went up the mountain and he didn't come back. Right. Brother Larry, there's a time we're going to go up the mountain and we're not going to come back. Yeah. 
rules and purpose for her. Just let it drop on purpose so that she can be blessed. I'll tell you what, tonight we are Gentiles yeah. and God purposely One of those two was going to be 
released. Uh-huh. Yeah. One of them's name was Barabbas. Yeah, right. We got a lot of Barabbas. One of them was Jesus. Yeah. And they said, he said, which one do you want me to release to you? And they all yelled without hesitation, Get, let us have Barabbas. I don't think you could quite comprehend, didn't quite understand it, but yet that's what the people wanted. Yeah. And he that said, what do you want me to do with this man? Jesus. And the sad thing is today, church, is that we're still making the same choice many have. What do you want me to do with this man, Jesus? We want you to crucify him. Why? What has he done? They hated him with a passion. And that day, those people chose Barabbas. But I'll tell you today, we got the same choice. And every day when you wake up and you get out of that bed, before you even get out of that bed, you're making a choice for that day. Oh, you 
Oh, the